Mermaid mother tried to escape from the fisherman. She secretly hid her baby in the basket of the cruise ship. Then she swam towards the cruise ship. She came to the side of the fishing boat and waved to the fisherman. The greedy fisherman was thrilled to see her. He immediately went to the stern and waved back. But he forgot about the lighthouse ahead. The boat crashed right into it and was destroyed. The plan succeeded and the mermaid mother rushed back to look for her child. But the cruise ship had already disappeared. It turns out that just five minutes ago, a couple on board were about to sail back. They heard a baby crying from the back of the ship. They searched and found a baby wrapped in a fishing net. They found a baby wrapped in a fishing net, although they were surprised. But for the couple, who could not have children, it was a gift from God. So they decided to adopt the baby and named him Robert. By the time the mermaid mother got to the shore, they had already taken Robert with them. She could only watch from the sea as her baby was taken away. She wept tears of sadness and helplessness. Soon 15 years passed and Robert grew up to be a high school student. He became the school's champion swimmer. Thanks to his natural strengths, he won the hearts of many girls. On the day of his 15th birthday party, Susan his classmate confessed her love to him. Just as they were about to kiss, Robert's lips emitted electricity. This surprised both of them. But they thought it was just a simple electrostatic phenomenon. They didn't pay any attention to it. But the next morning, Robert was about to turn off his alarm clock and the next thing he knew <sighs> Robert was a little surprised, thinking what the hell is going on. Just as he was about to take a sip of milk to calm himself down, something even more bizarre happened. The bottle was stuck to his hand. He tried to help with his other hand, and he tried to use his other hand to help. In the end, he could only use his elbow to get the milk carton off. He looked at his clean hands and wondered. The next day he came to school and began to feel very thirsty. After class Robert rushed to the faucet. He had been thirsty for an hour. This surprised his classmates in the line behind him. He realized that something might be wrong with his body. Robert immediately found his friend Matt. He told him all the strange things that happened today. Matt also found it unbelievable. He then wanted to examine Robert's hand. He was surprised to find scales growing out of Robert's palms. Robert was very frightened at the moment. He couldn't understand how he had suddenly become so strange. 